Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a sunny day outside, which is really nice uh, today. Uh, so yesterday I've got some plant, plant mail. I filmed uh, the unboxing thing. Watch it today, I didn't like it. So because I'm not editing, editing any of my videos, just because I don't know how and I don't have four or five hours to edit a video I decided to film another one because that's me so the plants are coming from plant junk uh, junkie UK I will um, link her Instagram down below um, and they are Euphorbia tirucali or the pencil cactus they arrive in really good shape they are really healthy plants no compost was in the box really nicely packed arrived really quickly this one has a lot of new growth which is exciting it will go into semi hydroponics as soon as the compost it's a bit drier because I don't like to put plants I don't like to convert a plant that has wet soil because it's you can't remove all the soil from the plant. A fish bone cactus. This is a nice one. I think it's um, the pot. Well, I think it's there are three or four cuttings in here that have new babies so that will be interesting to see how how they they will grow it's really nice and healthy which i do love that in a plant all the plants should be like that and this one is a jungle cactus jungle cactus i i love it i love it i love the texture i love that it's growing new i don't know if you can see it see new shoots from the same one it, it he will be really interesting to see how it's growing it will go into semi hydroponics it's in a net thing here so i think this is really dry and i can take it out i'll give it a good clean before they go with the rest of my plants because you need to do that so jungle junkie uk really interesting plants she has really interesting plants to sell and the prices are really affordable so go and check her out and now i wanted to answer to some of your questions uh, that i get on my instagram i have a few messages there um someone asked me where is my wish list plant well i don't have one and uh, I had one one year ago and I, I don't know if this is happening to you as well but um, when I went want plant right and I keep seeing that plant in old videos that the people are doing and I keep seeing it on Instagram and I keep seeing it on everywhere I'm kind of do I really want that plant? Mm. No. So, uh, I was thinking these days, what plant do I really want for this year? And I don't know if, I mean from philodendron and anthuriums and monstera, I think I have what I want and the the anthuriums they started to like all like one for me they are all looking like I don't know they all for me they are all the same maybe you'll say I'm an idiot I'm stupid I'm whatever you want to say but this is my opinion <clears throat> They look all the same 
I don't see any more difference between them, probably because everyone has an anthurium, whatever it is, crystallinum, vitae, or, I don't know, magnificum, and so on. And they, for me, they look all the same. I know that they are cross breeds, hybrids, and so on and so forth, but they are not appealing to me anymore. Don't know why. I don't know what, what's happening. Maybe I will change my mind in one week. Well, who knows? Uh, <clears throat> someone else uh, sent me a really funny message. Why I don't buy rare plants? And I've told her that she can have my bank account at any time. She can transfer me the money and I will buy as many rare plants as she wants. Because you don't have the money, obviously. So when I hear people with rare plants that are buying rare plants, that you don't need money, you don't need so much money for this, but, but they don't give you the seller from which they bought, no. They were really cheap, but they don't give you the seller. But you, when you are going to look for uh, that plant, it's with three numbers or four numbers or five numbers or God knows how many numbers. But they are really cheap. You don't need money to collect plants. Oh, bullshit. You do need money to collect plants, especially rare plants, and especially if you don't take them directly from the supplier in Indonesia, Thailand, or God knows where. So, is that a good enough reason for you why I don't buy rare plants? Uh, and, uh, another girl asked me why I don't use the word rare. Well, because for me rare, it will not be a plant that I can't find in K and I can find in another 20 countries. That's not a rare plant. That's just a plant that you can't find in K. That's it. So, if I, if you will ever um, hear me using the word rare or see the word rare in one of my videos, it will be because I won in a scratch card uh, 3,000 pounds and I bought a Spiritus Sanctis and that, that that is kind of it I'm not interested I'm not researching in rare plants I don't buy plants because they are rare I um, don't buy plants for YouTube I don't buy plants for Instagram so I will not do that I've seen so many youtubers that I've answered I answers unsubscribed Jesus Christ I have a huge headache I was subscribed to many youtubers and I answers answers <laughs> unsubscribed from them because they were posing in that type of people that uh, young don't have money don't have I don't know, but the plant mail was keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, plant mail, plant mail, rare plants, rare plants, 100, 300, 400, 500. What? You don't have money, but you bought in, you have a box with the plants that are $1,000 or pounds or euro and you don't have money. So in my opinion, the this this my my channel my channel is about me trying to um, share with you some of my experience in semi hydroponics and my tropical plants that are not rare. Sorry, uh, this is this is what is the channel about? Not about sh showing off with plants, not about trying to sell my house to buy plants to maintain a certain level of interest or things like that. So, you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. Simple as that. Uh, so, if it's a channel about semi-hydroponics, let's talk about semi-hydroponics. Someone asked me, <clears throat> 
what do I do after I convert the plant into semi hydroponics? Uh, when do I put the water? In my experience, my experience only, everything depends of your environment, temperature, heating, um, humidity, and so on and so forth. We'll talk about that in detail next Friday, maybe. In my opinion, what is working for me? <clears throat> it's I'm washing the roots if I need to wash them. If the soil is really dry, it will just peel apart really quickly. Washing the roots uh, if I have to wash them. I will leave them dry. I will not put them soaking wet in leca. The same. Leca will not be soaking wet. If leca is soaking wet and the roots are soaking wet and you put the water with nutrients or just water, uh, you will have a dead plant in two or three weeks because you'll have a root rot. So I will leave the roots to dry. Leca will be damp, not soaking wet. If it's soaking wet, I will leave the roots really well to dry, put the plant there, leave it for one week, two weeks, maybe before I put some nutrient solution, whatever that is. Depending of your climate, obviously, this can change. If it's a really hot, uh, dry climate, you will maybe need to check it after the leg, after two days, to see if it's um, wet or not, and put the water with the nutrients, because it can dry quicker. And another thing, small pots are drying quicker than bigger pots. Everyone should know that, right? So if it's small, check it more often. If it's big, that guy, that philodendron behind me, I've put it in semi-hydroponics on 4th of October. I didn't check it. I didn't check him, not even once. And I didn't water him either. Well, if I remove the first layer of leca, you will see the leca down below, it's still wet. So, yeah, I'll probably need to check that because it probably has some root rot doesn't show any sign of root rot but root rot it's always there because it is not all the roots are adjusting to semi hydroponics so right thank you for today that was it i had more questions but some of them they don't even deserve my attention just because they are root people and and I don't want to entertain them. So, next Friday, I think someone suggested me to make like a series. I can't remember her name and I do apologize. I'm really rubbish with remembering names, rubbish. Uh, no, I can't, I can't remember her name, but suggested me to do like episodes uh, about semi hydroponics starting from A till Z, everything that you need to do, what products I use, how do I use them, where do I buy them, and so on and so forth. So, I will start doing that next Friday, I think. Yeah, I will try to gather more information because I'm, I'm usually recording the videos Friday, the day that I I'm uploading the videos just in case something wrong will go with the plant or I don't want to lie anyone so but if you follow me on Instagram I have there a lot of updates so yeah thank you for watching have a nice weekend and see you next Friday